Hi guys, this is Gopika here and in this video I'll be discussing the property of angle bisector of a triangle and before uh, discussing the theorem or the property we need to recall few things that we or that you learned in standard 9th okay so I hope that you watched all the previous videos of this chapter that is similarity and you have understood the concepts now let's move on to the next topic and before getting into it let's recall few things okay okay so this is the first thing that we need to recall now in 9th standard I think uh, in the geometry uh, second chapter or first chapter you might have learned this regarding few properties regarding parallel lines and transversal okay when you have two parallel lines and one transversal then there are three types of angles that are formed first type is the interior angles now here if you see B and C are interior angles which is lying inside and if you observe A and B are called pair of corresponding angles C and B are pair of interior angles and A and B are pair of corresponding angles and if you observe in this diagram this D and B are pair of alternate angles means if it is angles formed like the Z shape you have a Z shape then those angles are alternate angles okay and if you have it like this like two floors then it is corresponding angles and if you have both the angles on one side and in one side and inside then it's interior okay three pairs of angles and the properties are when you have two parallel lines and one transversal the interior angles are complementary oh, sorry are supplementary the interior angles are supplementary that means their summation is 180 degree or when you add B plus C you will get 180 degree okay that is property of interior angles of parallel lines and second is the property of corresponding angles of parallel lines that is angle A is equal to angle B and third property is property of alternate angles of parallel lines that is angle D is equal to B so there are three main properties first property is interior angles are supplementary that means their summation is 180 degree corresponding angles are congruent and alternate angles are also congruent means they are of equal measure okay now in that the uh, second two properties that is regarding the corresponding angles and alternate angles these two properties we will use in this uh, in the coming theorem that is alternate uh, angle bisector property that theorem we will use these two properties okay the proof is also there and if you are interested in the proof you can pause the video and go through the proof it is very simple and if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section okay now let's see next property that we will need in the theorem okay okay so this theorem you might have seen in I think congruence of triangles in that chapter this theorem comes that is isosceles triangle theorem the theorem says if two sides of a triangle are congruent then the angles opposite to them are congruent isosceles triangle means those triangles with a pair of sides equal if a pair of sides is equal in a triangle then we call it a isosceles triangle okay now in an isosceles triangle the angles opposite to the uh, congruent side is congruent that is what the statement says that means a b and c are congruent then angle a b c is congruent to angle a c b that is what isosceles triangle theorem says now here in angle bisector theorem or in angle bisector property we need converse of this theorem okay so if you want to go through the proof please pause the video and watch and now what is important is converse of this theorem so let's go to converse of it so converse of isosceles triangle theorem now let's read this statement now this statement is what we will need in the angle bisector property of a triangle so if two angles of a triangle are congruent then the sides opposite to them are congruent okay that is what converse is now if you have pqr is equal to prq then claim is pq is equal to pr that is to prove okay here also the proof is given proof is really simple in this what they do is or what the construction important construction is they draw a bisector of angle P okay 
and this PQR is equal to PRQ is already given and consider after drawing the bisector consider this as two different triangles PQM and PRM and we will use tests for congruency to prove that these two triangles are congruent once we prove that they are congruent then we can say side PQ is congruent to side PR since they are corresponding sides of congruent triangles okay now how we prove the congruence now this PQM is equal to PRM is already given is given to you okay and then by construction this bisector divides angle P in two equal parts so angle QPM is equal to angle RPM okay so in both the triangles two angles corresponding angles are equal we already got now we need one more factor to conclude about the congruence and that is this common side PM is common to both the triangles so segment PM is congruent to segment PM common side so by ASA test that is two angles and one side test we have that PQM triangle is congruent to triangle PRM so if PQM is congruent to PRM then by uh, corresponding sides of congruent triangles we can say segment PQ is congruent to segment PR okay simple so pause the video and go through the proof if you are interested but now we are interested in this statement that we, because we will use it in angle bisector property of a triangle okay so statement so first was about parallel lines and the transversal and then converse of isosceles angle theorem these statements are important and we will use it in the coming theorem okay okay so let's see the property of angle bisector of a triangle okay so for this for learning this theorem we were actually recalling few things that we learned in standard 9th till now we were saying all those things that we learned in 9th okay now this is the next topic that we actually we are back to our 10th standards textbook now okay so let's start first let's read the statement the bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the remaining sides that means if you see this diagram triangle ABC now angles from angle C or from vertex C if you draw an angle bisector then the theorem says AE upon EB is same as CA upon CB that means this bisector is dividing the opposite side in the ratio of the remaining sides okay so CA upon CB is same as AE upon EB this is the claim this is what this statement of the theorem says okay if you draw an angle bisector from one vertex towards the opposite side of a triangle then that bisector divides the side in same ratio as of the remaining sides okay so given in triangle ABC bisector of angle C intersects segment AB bisector of C intersects AB at point E to prove AE upon EB is equal to CA upon CB okay so construction we need a construction here because uh, let's see the reason we will come to know as we proceed in the proof because we will be using BPT or basic proportionality theorem here and actually there are two way to prove this theorem the first way of proving we will need BPT okay and for that we need this construction so what we do is uh, we have this bisector C okay so we will draw a parallel line a parallel line that is a line parallel to CE starting from B okay and now this parallel line will uh, we'll draw parallel line and now we need to extend this AC so as to intersect this parallel line at D okay first I draw a parallel line which is parallel to CE and then I extend this side till here see this till this arrow so that this side and this parallel line intersects at D okay so draw a line parallel to ray CE to CE I am drawing a line which is parallel passing through the point B that is starting from B and extend AC so as to intersect it at point D okay so we are extending AC hmm? fine so this is the construction okay so let's see the proof okay so okay while discussing the proof also we will need the diagram so I have uh, attached it here now let's see 
First point is ray CE is parallel to ray BD and AD is transversal. Now if you observe by construction CE is parallel to this line BD. Okay. And this CB is a transversal. Also AD is a transversal. Okay. So if these are two parallel lines then CD is also a transversal and CB is also a transversal. Transversal means it is passing through both the parallel lines or it is touching both the parallel lines. Okay. A straight line which cuts both the parallel lines is a transversal. Now this CD we can say that AD. In place of CD we can replace it by AD also. Right. So AD is transversal of EC and BD. Now if AD is transversal then what are the corresponding angles ACE and CDB are corresponding angles. So angle ACE is equal to angle CDB. See here this dotted one and this dotted one. If CE and DB are parallel lines and AD is the transversal then ACE and CDB are corresponding angles. So first like first floor second floor okay or like first floor ground floor we can see if you tilt the diagram it is much more clearer actually but here also from CE and DB you can see ACE and CDB are corresponding angles so they are equal now first we took AD as the transversal now let's see what happens if we take BC as the transversal or CB as the transversal if you take CB as the transversal you can easily find a pair of alternate angles over here see Z E C B and C B D is forming a Z over here see A C B and C B D so here we can say angle A C E is congruent to sorry now taking business transversal angle E C B is equal to angle C B D E C B is equal to angle C B D they are alternate angles so first point was the corresponding angles when AD is the transversal. Next point is the alternate angles when BC is the transversal. Both the properties we used. Now third thing we have that angle ACE is congruent to angle ECB. This is already given. ACE is congruent to BCE. Okay. Since C is the bisector we know that these two angles are equal. Okay. Now if you observe first, second and third point we can make out that angle CBD is congruent to angle CDB. Okay? From these three. Hmm? CBD means angle CBD. This angle is congruent to angle CDB. Okay? This is equal to this and this is equal to this. Now these both are equal. So these both are also equal okay clear now let's see in triangle CBD side CB is congruent to side CD CB and side D are congruent by now in this triangle we got two congruent angles and by converse of isosceles triangle theorem if you have two congruent angles then sides opposite to it are congruent so CBD equal to CDB implies side CB is congruent to side CD okay sides opposite to congruent angles this is converse of isosceles triangle theorem statement we have used here okay now C congruent means CB is equal to CD okay now in triangle ABD if you observe ABD EC is parallel to BD alright EC is parallel to BD this is by construction and here we can apply the basic proportionality theorem. Okay. Now let's see how this diagram looks when tilted. See over here. If you notice now the same diagram I have tilted it. And if you see A, B, D in this triangle. Uh, e, C is parallel to B, D. We have one line which is parallel to one of the side of the triangle and this line is cutting one side at point E and the other side at point C then it cuts the sides in 
same proportion that means AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CD this is what basic proportionality theorem says okay so by basic proportionality theorem we can conclude this that is AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CD clear fine okay so once we have applied the basic proportionality theorem next is now we got here that CB is equal to CD that is the fourth point CB is same as CD now here this CD I can replace it by CB so AE upon EB is equal to AC upon CB that is AE upon EB is same as AC upon CB okay so this bisector is dividing the opposite side in same ratio as of the remaining sides of the triangle so this is what we needed okay clear so I hope you understood the proof now once again I'll go through the proof okay so first is you have a triangle and you have an angle bisector then it is uh, cutting the opposite side at point E and you construct a line parallel to the bisector from one of the vertex and then you extend the other side so as to intersect that parallel line okay and then you uh, actually wanted uh, you are going to apply the BPT in the later stage but before that you need to prove the equivalence of CB and CD or equality of CB and CD so that you can replace CD by CB for that equality we will use properties of parallel lines and a transversal first properties of corresponding angles and then we use property of alternate angles with two different transversals and then we get that the two angles are equal these two angles are equal these two angles are equal means CB is same as CD once you get CB is equal to CD you apply basic proportionality theorem on ADB and then replace CD by CB and then you arrive at the answer okay simple so once again go through the proof see the diagram and if you have any doubts write in the comment section okay and also try to write this proof by yourself first understand from the video and then write the statement and try to prove it by yourself do the construction and then you will get clarity over the topic okay and as I said there is an alternate proof for this theorem and that I'll be discussing in the next video okay okay so thank you guys for listening to me and if you're new to my channel please subscribe the channel and please like the video and share it with your friends and that's it okay so see you soon with the alternative proof of uh, angle bisector property of a triangle okay bye take care